Ork, I need... a favor that I can only trust to you. This doesn't sound good. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donick, here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. It must be something important if you're going to all this trouble. That's none of your business. Make it my business. I already regret this. I'm not about to make it worse by... exposing unnecessary facts. You can accept that or not, but that's all I can say. You need me for something as simple as this. I protect many people. Citizens well beyond the men and women I command. But... who do I really know besides you? I need a friend to do this. It's a short list. Donick? The one we pulled from an ambush? The event that put me here. But this is... a different need of the Guard and its captain. And you're doing very badly at the no-questions part. Fine. Give it here. Thank you. And please hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk. I really do. Guardsman Donick. Sir R. Hawk, it's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. No ill effects from the ambush, I trust. They got me pretty good, I'll admit. But they fared worse, so I can't complain. Guard is a good career if you're careful. A short one if you're not. And the captain makes sure we're careful. I'm just making a delivery. This is for you. All right. It's a copper relief of... Marigolds? Ah, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Tell me this wasn't a waste of my time. I... can't do that. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do. Of... varying import. Sir Hawk. You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? Stunned as I was, I'll wager. I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols, for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. Really? Just walk over there and post the roster? I want his honest reaction without the captain present. You could just have him hauled off. This isn't about an accusation I can put in a report and explain. I need someone unofficial. All right. Posting the roster just over there. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. Hey, Donick! Whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working dockside on those smugglers. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need... I need... Three goats, and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. Hold a moment. You're sweet on the boy. So help me, whore. I will break you. Oh, this is glorious. All this flailing is her idea of courtship. I don't appreciate being led around like this. It's not about you. It's not about anyone. Just me. I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. I'm confused. Wasn't Lady Manhans married already? That was... a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. 
So you've been by yourself since we came to Kirkwall? Wait, you've gone four years without. You must creak like a rusty hinge. Many people have their lives because of me. But poor you. No life of your own. We both place others above ourselves. I happen to do it clothed. You're splitting hairs, but wishing someone would split yours. I've had enough of your loose lips. Like many, I'm sure. Oh, touché. Prig. Slattern! If I might put this back on track. I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. It's just fear. I know it's foolish, but I can't get away from it. What about you and Meryl? She's all but daring the Fae to take her. How do you live with that danger? Maybe we're not the best example. But you understand. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. Sounds like you're ready to move on. It's been four years since Wesley. Stop trying to protect me. That's right. She's made her peace. Now let her get one. Well, this little dance certainly isn't helping. So what will? I'm the captain. He's my guardsman. I can't get past that. So go out. Get him drunk. Shame is a great equalizer. What? Just go out somewhere? Like it's that easy? What? Too simple. Tell Donick. Invite him to the Hanged Man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group, anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Guardsman Donick, you're free for an evening. I have no immediate patrols. Why? Never mind. Free drinks at the Hanged Man. Be there. Uh, all right. The Hanged Man it is. There were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change. Apparently. Right. Look, <laughs> I should really, um... Sit. You should really sit. Another round. Make a yes. So, Aveline is great. Look, if this was all a plan for you to get closer to the captain, maybe you should just talk to her. I mean, how sad would it be if you needed a go-between? Have some backbone. I have to go. Thanks for the drinks. I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I arranged this to get to you. I'm an idiot. You're too strong to trip on your own sword. Find a way to win. This isn't combat. I can't talk to him. The only place I'm comfortable anymore is on patrol. And killing high women doesn't afford much opportunity for banter. Here come the excuses. I will not risk. That's the problem. Risk? Or oh, so help me, I will bed the man myself. I think that pretty much forces the issue. But I can't fight and talk. I'll clear the way, and you can see if he's the one. You're too good at this. Is it any wonder you've all but taken Hightown? You clear the route up the wounded coast, and I... will think of something to say. 
So this route's pretty quiet? Yes, and it's... a real nice night for an evening. Um, <laughs> as you say, Captain. <laughs> yes, as I say. Maker, she's bad at this. If it isn't done right, the blade can be too soft. Quenching the steel is a vital step that can make or break a sword. Right. A blade for every purpose. What do you think about blades? I'm sorry, Captain. I drifted off a bit. Right. Of course. Ugh. Painful. Well, Guardsman. Good patrol. I think we're done, and... I... Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline. Hawk, don't. I think you'll come around once it's all out in the open. Would someone please tell me what's going on? You're a daft couple of... Oh, take a hint and bend her over a basin, will you? Captain? Ah. Uh. I should get back to the barracks. I thought we were friends. Friends sometimes push. I... I have to fix this. He'll file a complaint, ask for a transfer. You. You're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Double time, Hawk, or so help me. Maker. Where is Donick? I have to... head this off before it goes to the Viscount. Maybe a formal apology. Something that shows the guards they can still trust me. Try the copper marigolds again. In hindsight, they weren't the worst option. It's not funny. I beg to differ. You'll beg for more than that if you keep this up. <clears throat> My apologies, Sir Ahawk. But I need a moment with the Captain. Guardsman Donick. Please. Aveline. Guardsman Donick did not file a complaint. This was all incredibly stupid, and you made it wonderful. You were dead set on messing this up. Don't forget that. I won't. I've sunk my teeth in, and I'm not letting go. I heard. Keep it to yourself. I just... There's no way I can ever repay you. Perhaps it's simple. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you something? Was there a moment when you thought I was beyond help? Not for a second. You don't lie very well. As far as you know. Shout when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just knock first. <laughs> 